Hey, if you don't want to know what happens to Yennefer after Sodden Hill and in season two, please don't watch this video. Okay, so this video I'm talking about leaks and spoilers for filming of season two, mostly in regards to Yennefer, her fate in season two, and a certain huge group that is going to play an important role in season two of Netflix's The Witcher. So again, spoilers. <laughs> Not joking around here. Heavy spoilers. All right, so a mini recap. At the end of season one, we saw Yennefer joining some other knowing ones to repel the Nilfgaardians at Sodden Hill. And through her unleashing her chaos, she was able to defeat a good chunk of the Nilfgaardians and delay the rest until reinforcements from the Northern Kingdoms arrived to take over. that we see that Yennefer disappears in the show. Now if we're going by the books we know that she was blinded at the Battle of Sodden Hill and then she disappeared for a while to be healed and she did eventually get her eyesight back through magic although she is very emotionally traumatized from it and if you read the books you see her occasionally just looking at something and when someone asks what are you doing just enjoying the sight enjoying that I can actually see. So while well, I'm not sure as of yet if we're going to see Yennefer blinded in the show like she was in the books, or rather in the Witcher lore because we hear about this battle after the fact in the books, but you get what I mean. Though of course there is a cost to magic like they tried to show us continuously through season one, but Lauren, the showrunner for Netflix's The Witcher, pointed out, okay, Yennefer didn't create that fire that she used to destroy a bunch of the Nilfgaardians, she harnessed it from the Elven Keep. So while it did weaken her enough that she disappeared, it wasn't the same type of weakness, or maybe not the same type, the same extreme level. Okay, which brings us to leaks for season two of The Witcher. So we have had photos of a large group of elves in season two and Tom Kenton is back, who plays Philavandrel, and he is leading them now with a new character, well, new for the show, not new for the books, Francesca, who is a powerful elven sorceress played by the very beautiful Miss Simpson. By the way, Philavandrel's new hair looks amazing, and I approve of this wig much more than the one they had for him in season one. That wig was garbage. This wig, even from faraway shitty shots of filming, Also, and I'm definitely being a hater right now, I feel like they really messed up his character in season one with the edge of the world storyline, so I hope they do him more justice in season two. By the way, if you follow Tom Canton, he is an absolute delight and he is so excited to be in Netflix's The Witcher. It's, it's so adorable. He is just beyond hyped. And if you haven't read the books or played the video games, what's important about seeing these large group of elves, which you'll notice they are very mismatched, they don't all have the same armor, is they make up a certain group. And they are called the Scoia'tael, but they are nicknamed the Squirrels, which I will be calling them from here on out in this video. And I guess what you should know about them without going too in-depth is the Squirrels are a non-human gorilla fighters group, mostly elves, but they could be gnomes and dwarves and halflings and such, who were basically just sick of being discriminated by the humans because, you know, they came to the continent well before humans, and then once humans went there, after the conjunction of the spears, they started to just discriminate heavily against non-humans, as humans tend to do. If it's one thing humans like, it's discriminating for like no fucking reason. 
So what we know from the sleuth who managed to take these photos is that this group is going to be at least in the first two episodes. And what's also important about this group is they actually have Frangella and Yennefer as captives. Given that the squirrels end up being allied with Nilfgaard, I would imagine Frangella here is going to use some of her diplomatic skills to get out of being a prisoner and going, hey, we can actually join with you, help you, maybe not publicly because we want to do some tension within the Northern Kingdoms, but we can have your back. Just don't kill me. And if you think that's weird because the squirrels are made up of non-humans that are sick of humans discriminating against them and the Nelf Guardians are humans, <laughs> it's an allyship of convenience. Which I'm not going to spoil how it turns out, but not great. Well, for a certain side. Was that ominous enough? So in season two of The Witcher, for the first two episodes, you can expect to see some heavy focus on the squirrels and also to see Yennefer and Frangella being captives of them. And where it goes from there, we'll have to see. Obviously, Yennefer is going to either be let go or escape at some point because she has a much further storyline with Geralt and Ciri and she is one of the main characters of the show. They're not going to kill her in season two. I just... I know that would be super shocking and no one would see it coming. It, it's not gonna happen. Yennefer's pretty safe. Although, and just me spitballing here, I understand that they're making Triss very different than how she is presented in the books. So are we gonna see a Triss Geralt romance in this show? Because they're kind of making Triss to be very strong, independent woman, not throw herself all over Geralt because she gets a little pathetic about Geralt in the books. I'm sorry she does. She's more of a bamf in the games. I mean she's a bamf in the books of course. She just gets a little desperate for that Geralt dick in the books more so than I feel comfortable reading about. So are we going to make Yennefer go away for a little bit so that Triss and Geralt can have a romance? Geralt turns to Triss and then Yennefer comes back and of course he goes back to her because they're the on again, off again, star-crossed lovers. Also, and this is just me spitballing, so I'm really sorry. I just have a lot of brain thoughts that I just need to say sometimes. Geralt and Ciri are going to his Witcher school, the school of the wolf. So are we going to spend the entire season with Ciri training there? Or are we going to see Triss helping out Ciri and then the wagon escort thing happening and her going to the temple of Melitella or Melitele? You can say it either way. I don't know. I kind of hope they spend the entire time at the Witcher School in Season 2 training series because we've seen those behind the scene photos of uh, Freya training or having a practice sword and her seeming to get her moves on. So my secret hope is they spend most of the season at the Witcher School. However, given that Yarpin is back for Season 2, I'm thinking the escort is going to happen. And then maybe some diarrhea stuff that I don't want to talk about in this video. Brace yourself. They weren't brave enough to do it with uh, Daenerys in Game of Thrones, but I'm thinking Lauren Hiswick. That's so disturbing. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to be doing a separate video for new casting for season two of The Witcher, including the most beautiful woman in the entire world, Francesca. I'm actually kind of okay with who they picked to play her, but she also has a big role and she will be playing alongside Philodandrel. So all right, there's some Witcher spoilers for you. Like, subscribe, and come back for more videos. My lips kind of stuck together on that.